Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Jeff at LockdownSecurity.ca, www.LockdownSecurity.ca. And today I am making a video that I've been meaning to make for a long time. This is going to be on the iDatalink Web Link Updater uh, software and specifically the ADS USB, the ADS USB Eco. And I don't have an example of it, but let me go on my website to show you what it is. The ADS USB hub, which is this guy right here, you'll see in the, the window on the side. Now, uh, essentially, these are variants of the WebLink updater. This is the tool that you use to program products such as iData Start HC series, CompuStar DC3 series, CompuStar CMX series, and CompuStar CM900 series, along with the previous generation, CM7 series and CM6 series and CM5 series. Basically anything that has that black four pin port that is manufactured by CompuStar or iData link slash iData start. These are the products that you're gonna be utilizing the web link software for. So let me just go through exactly what I mean by WebLink software. So I'm just going to make this screen a little bit bigger for you. Basically, this is the iDatalink website. This would be the website that you would go to if you purchased an iData start or an iDatalink remote start. This would be the website that you would go to to not only figure out what firmware is for that remote starter, but also to program your module. Now, full disclosure, uh, this software and these programming tools are designed for professional use only, although... For do-it-yourself use, you can utilize this software as well, but you do have to register for an account at idatalink.com. The reason I'm making this video is we have a lot of customers that we sell remote starters to on www.lockdownsecurity.ca, and I'll just get this banner you'll see here. We sell a lot of remote starters to do-it-yourself customers who sometimes need to flash or program their product, and they don't know how to do so. So that's what this video is here to show you. So at uh, www.identalink.com, you will see at the top of the page, it says flash your module. If I click this button, it'll say opening web link de desktop to flash, to flash your module. If you don't have the web link desktop application, get it now, continue. Well, I've downloaded the application on my computer and I'm gonna go full screen here to show you exactly what I mean. So if I go over here to the WebLink software, this is it right here. Now, I had a uh, CM900 with a Blade AL plugged in, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens when I plug in an iData Start HC series. So what you're gonna see is this screen is gonna change. Now, when I say plug in, what I mean is I'm plugging this into an ADS USB tool that I have plugged into this computer uh, and I will show you what happens. So I have plugged the module into the computer. I'm gonna go back to making the screen a little bit bigger. And I am going to go over to this button, configure new module. Now this software is compatible with uh, Windows desktop, as well as Macintosh computers, uh, you will see basically now I get a whole host of vehicle manufacturers. Now, let's say I wanted to program this HC series control module for a Honda Civic, pretty basic vehicle. Let's say it's a 2022 Honda Civic. And it's going to be pushed to start automatic. Now, full disclosure, the HC series does not work with manual. It only works with automatic. So we'll click automatic. And then it is going to say bypass only DL or standalone remote start. Now, with that being said, I do have to go back to the device. So I got to re-detect. So now it's picked up the HCX because it was detecting the CM900 that I previously had plugged in with a Blade AL. Now it's detecting CMHCX A0. I'm going to configure. I am going to go to Honda. Civic, push to start automatic. It's gonna ask me if I have any key fobs to program. 
Uh, and what brand? Obviously, it's compatible with iDataStar, Orbit Pro, Smart Control, and Connected. If I had those key fobs, I could enter their serial numbers here and it would pre-program them for me. Or I can choose to not program any. I can save and go to Telematics. Telematics would be smartphone app. If you are installing drone, my car, my start plus directed smart start, you can turn that on. It'll ask you to select which system you are using. In this case, we always here at Lockdown Security pre-program for drone. The protocol for drone is the same for my car and my start plus. You do have to program it for directed smart start if you're using that. You have to select that protocol, but drone will cover pretty much all of the other compatible smartphone uh, controllers. I hit save and continue. This is the firmware that it's recommending. I can see all available firmware if I wanted to look at prior versions. I can see the accessories that are required. I can see the optional accessories, uh, key fob kits, temperature sensors, programming tools, etc. Or I can click the firmware. It'll say factory keyless remote start activation. I want it to be lock, lock, lock. That's the activation sequence to remote start the car. If I had this installed in the Civic, I can select the runtime, three minute, five minute, 10 minute, 15, 25, 30, 35. Default is 15. I can go save and go to feature menu or save and go to flash uh, summary. The difference between these two selections is whether or not I want to change options on the HC module or whether I just want to uh, flash it and get to the end of the sequence as quickly as I can. Let's save and go to features menu. And for those of you wondering why these two features are up here, these are the most popular features that people change. So iData Link has made it very convenient by having these open and ready to change right there. So I'm gonna save and go to features menu. So essentially these are the different programming options that you can change. Most of these are default set by the firmware that you load into the module, but there are different features that you can change. We will go through this in a different video. As you can see, there are tons of menus. There is the remote start menu, the door lock menu, the security menu, the aux function, the programmable outputs, pulse timer outputs, inputs, outputs configuration, and programmable input configuration number two. If I hit save and go to guides, it'll take me to where I download the install guides. It'll take me to iData Wire if I want to look at the wiring schematic that they provide. And if there were any videos, it would take me right here to show me videos and I could click that button. In this particular case for our video today, we're going to go to Flash. We're going to see that it is a CMHCX. It's what I want to install. I want to put it in a 2022 Honda Civic push to start automatic. I want to control it with the OEM remote by pressing lock three times to remote start. I can modify any of these or redetect if I want. And everything looks good. So I'm going to flash my device. It'll give us a loading screen. This is essentially flashing the HC module with the firmware for the 2022 Honda Civic. And we'll wait here as it continues. I'm just going to make myself a little bit bigger on the video. And I want to go through a couple of things. So essentially the ADS USB Eco, for those of you who are not aware, it's a miniature version of the ADS USB. It's basically like a USB stick with a four pin plug on the outside. It comes with this cable. And the reason why we sell this guy at Lockdown Security is it's extremely economical. It's cheaper than the ADS USB, but there's a catch as there always is with cheaper products. And the catch is the ADS USB Eco does not work with CompuStars units, okay? The ADS USB Eco works with iData Start and iData Link only. Now, there's a bit of a glitch in the video. I don't know if that passed through to the recording, but essentially when the unit stopped flashing or the firmware loaded, it went on a bit of a glitch on me there. So if you see me pause or there's a glitch in the video, that's why. Now, getting back to the ADS USB Eco, it only works for iData Start products. It does not work for CompuStar products. For CompuStar products, you must use the ADS USB or the ADS USB hub. And I'll get into the differences with the hub in one moment. Let's go back to the flash completed screen. So you will see that it has successfully loaded the firmware. This particular vehicle, the 2022 Honda Civic requires clone. Some people call it clone, but it is supposed to be a short form for clone. And what clone is, is essentially extended programming. 
So what you need to do in extended programming clone applications is you need to go ahead and install the product in the vehicle that it is going into. So in this case, that would be the 2022 Honda Civic. I would complete all my connections. I would go through in-vehicle programming. And then I would get to a point or a step in the in-vehicle programming that says, please per, uh, proceed with clone programming. What that means is I've got to remove the HC module from the vehicle and I've got to bring it back to the computer to continue extended programming. What does that mean? That means that the module that you installed in the vehicle in the steps I just outlined comes back out of the vehicle, comes back to the computer. And then essentially what you do is you push the continue extended programming button. And if everything is good, it will continue the extended programming sequence. Once that's successfully completed, you take the module and you put it back in the vehicle and you follow the further in vehicle programming steps and voila, you have a working remote starter. Now, many new vehicles require clone, many older vehicles do not. Uh, so it, it is, vehicle dependent on whether or not you need clone, but uh, it is a feature of the WebLink software to enable uh, clone programming. Now, uh, what I wanna do is I'm going to unplug the ADS USB from the computer, because I want to show you exactly what it looks like. This is the WebLink Updater ADS USB. It looks uh, rectangular in nature. It's got a USB plug on one end, and then it's got the four pin RS-232 plug on the other end. This is a necessary tool for many installations. Now, certain uh, iData Link HDXs have this uh, technology built into them. Not all of them do. Uh, you will notice on an HCX that there is a USB port on the side. Many uh, times we've had customers tell us that they've been able to plug a USB connector in there, plug this direct into the computer, and essentially the ADS USB is built in. Now, I personally have not been able to get that to work 100% of the time. I think it depends on what version of HCX you have. So I always recommend that you equip yourself with an ADS USB or an ADS USB Eco when working with iData Link or iData Start products for installation. When it comes to CompuStar products, you need the ADS USB. That's gonna be the next uh, portion of this video. I want to plug the ADS USB back into the computer here. And I wanna show you a couple of things. So I am going to, uh, take this CM900. This is a CompuStar remote start controller. It can also be used for security purposes. And there is a black four pin port. I am going to plug that in to the ADS USB. And I am going to quit the existing process. Let's make this screen a little bit bigger. Let's go back to device. We're going to redetect. Hopefully, I don't have a technical challenge in this video. That would be a little bit embarrassing. Uh, so now it's detecting. So it has detected a Blade AL, which is the interface that I have installed in this CM900. That's made by iData Link. And it's telling me that the Embedded device is a remote starter CM900. That's the CompuStar device. Now, what's cool about this, you can update firmware of the CompuStar controller. You can modify features, and you can also obviously modify firmware on the blade. So in this application, what I would do, I would program my firmware to the blade for whatever vehicle I'm putting the CM900 and blade combo into. And then from there, I would do my firmware update of the CM900, and I would modify features. What I wanna briefly show you is the modify features menu. This is going to pull up the CompuStar specific features. Uh, let's see here, it is taking a little bit of time to load. Sometimes it goes quicker, sometimes it doesn't. There may be an issue that I haven't programmed the blade. That may be why this isn't working. Let's try that first actually. Let's go back and redetect the device. As you can see, it's not always 100% every time. Sometimes there can be some glitches, but trust me that it works about 99.99% of the time. 
So what we're going to do here, we're going to configure the blade. Let's pick the same vehicle again, 2021 Honda Civic instead of a 2022. We're going to pick it as a standard key this time. It's a bypass only, I data link two way. So these are the features of the blade, not the CM900. These are blade features. Yes, the blade interface module has its own set of features. We're just going to save and go to guides. We're going to go to flash. Flash the device. Again, going through this while we wait. Let me make myself bigger again. I wanted to go back to iDataStart and let everybody know that using the ADS USB, you can also flash and program iData link antennas. This is key because there's firmware on these antennas. Some of the antennas from iData link or iData start need to be turned on for two-way functionality. The only way you can do that is using an ADS USB. So that is another function of the ADS USB system. Looks like I got an error. That's probably because of this video that I'm doing. We can certainly retry the flash, but I'm not gonna stress this. Essentially, this the purpose of the video is to show you exactly how the WebLink software works. So I'm gonna recap, and then I'm gonna go on to the ADS USB. So to recap, Essentially, if you needed to use or program an iData link remote starter, the first step that you need to do is you need to go to iDatalink.com. This is also applies for CompuStar product. You need to go flash your module. It's going to prompt you to download the WebLink desktop software. You do that. You choose whether you have Apple or Macintosh. Uh, sorry, Apple or Windows. Apple, Macintosh. Uh, Apple or Windows operating system. Once you download the WebLink desktop software, you plug in your ADS USB or your ADS USB Eco. From there, you plug in your remote start controller or your antenna or your interface module, and you follow the prompts with programming your firmware. Now, let me briefly cover what the ADS USB hub is. I'm on iDatalink's website, as you can see here. I'm gonna make this bigger. Uh, let's go. We'll go to my website, gives a better picture. So what you're seeing here, this is the, the ADS USB hub. What is this device? Well, it's a new programming device from iDatalink, which is going to enable remote start installs on vehicles that previously were not able to have a remote start installed on. Vehicles like the new Chevy Silverado 2023 and above, the new 2023 and above Chevy Colorado, GMC Canyon, um, and a number of others. Mazda 3, Mazda CX-30, Mazda CX-50, Subaru vehicles. What's cool about the hub is the hub basically not only acts as an ADS USB, but it enables uh, RFID key programming. So what I mean by that is it can take the immobilizer chip programming from the head of a key, for example, Subaru, and up top here of the hub, there is a slot that you can put the key in, and it'll actually scan that information from the key upload it to the iDatalink servers, program what it needs to program, and then allows you to download the program firmware onto your remote start and enables the installation of your remote starter. It's really cool technology. It's something that is uh, very new. It was released at the end of 2022, and they've been building firmware coverages for it ever since. You can see they've got a lot of information on their homepage, the new GM push to starts, Subarus. This is enabling a lot of remote start installs where previously you either couldn't do it or you had to sacrifice a key. So I hope you found this video informative. I know it's a long one, 18 minutes long. Uh, it does give you an idea of what the ADS USB is, what it is all about, and how you utilize it and what the software looks like. If you have any questions, feel free to visit us www.lockdownsecurity.ca. I've got it on the banner right below. Uh, sales at lockdownsecurity.ca is our email, 1-866-824-4118. That's our toll-free number. We look forward to making more videos like this in the future. If you could hit the like button down below, it really helps us to make more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching. This is Jeff at Lockdown Security. Hope you enjoyed the video.